Hey guys, today I'm making a video to show you how to get Cube World on a Mac. Uh, this is an updated video. So, yeah. Uh, first I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Okay. Um, first what you need to do is buy Cube World. Um, trust me guys, it's only $15. It's not, it's like barely anything. Now don't don't end the video just because I said you need to buy it. After you buy it, um, drag it to your desktop. And what you need to do is um, download Crossover. So I'll put all the links in the description. Type in, whoops, type in Crossover. And then go to this one, www.codeweavers.com slash products. And then just click, and then um, download the trial for Mac and put in your email. And then after you do that, go to Cube World to to buy the game. Just click on it, um, and then buy or log, make your own account, log in, then click shop, and then buy Cube World. After you buy it, it'll be in My Games. Then download the game, put it onto your desktop, and um, yeah, so then what you do is, well, I'm going to show you something first. Crossover, when you download it, the trial, it gives you, um, it gives you a limit of days. Um, it's back. Um, I just had to, um, close the door to my room, and I also had to adjust my mic. So, basically, what you're going to, so, as you can see, I opened it, and it said 2,203 days. That's because I hacked it, like I said before I paused the video. Um, so, basically, um, I hacked it all, my next video, I'll show you how to hack it, but this video, I'm not going to. Um, so, yeah, um, after you do it, just click try now, but, uh, after you do it, go through the installation process of Cube Setup 3. Now, if you go on the internet and like go on like 2shared.com or something and try to download Cube Setup 3.exe, and then you try to log in with your Picorama account, um, it's not going to let you. It's going to say invalid license or username. That actually means invalid license because you didn't buy the game. And every time someone buys a game, they get their own license when they download like Cube Setup. Dot cubesetup.exe so every single cubesetup.exe has its own license so that's why it won't work if you download it um so all you're gonna do is just open it and um just wait for it to load Okay, so, or no, sorry, sorry, guys, I forgot one more thing. Uh, I'm very sorry, okay. Um, type in cube world crossover, crossover, and then just select this one, uh, www.coveweeders.com, welcome, okay, and then just click the keyboard dash coveweeders code. Weavers, and then click, um, you can download the trial, but I already showed you how to, so just click install Cube World now. And this fixes a lot of problems, analyzing Cube World.ty and everything, that fixes problems. But, now it'll automatically open Crossover if you have it installed. If you don't have it installed, all that stuff will come up and then it'll just say error. Um... Like error or something, something like that. Okay. So now it says it, it. After you put it on your desktop, it'll automatically say right here. It'll say "Will install Cube World." After you click on it from the website, and then it'll automatically pick the one from your desktop. Um, if you have it, if you put it on your desktop, uh, put it on your desktop. Otherwise, it's not gonna automatically take it. Um. So then, bottle which to install, um, I just did win, new and XP bottle, and then I named it, um, 
I'm just gonna name it like one, two, three, but you guys can name it whatever you want because I already have a I already installed on my computer, so it's gonna install these other things. Um so after you go through the installation, what you're gonna need to do is it's gonna after it downloads all that stuff, um when it downloads all that stuff, it's actually putting it on the, the stuff onto your computer if you do it correctly. So when it starts downloading DirectX, um, make sure that Direct DirectX browse it and make make sure it's um, located in your application support um, in your library, and then application support makes sure it, make sure it's located there. Same with Cube setup. Um, so when the setup comes up for like uh when the setup comes up for comes up for cube setup right here um um it'll say we'll install cube word and then you click next 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 and then next it'll say c program files um program files x86 next to that click browse and then scroll all the way down click the little or press click the little slash um, scroll down from there, click users, then go in your name, library, application support, and then click OK, and then install into application support, and then keep clicking OK. Uh, creating a desktop icon doesn't work because it thinks you're on Windows, so then just keep installing, keep installing, and then when you're done, um, it will, um, let see, see something really quick, um, Okay, so as you can see, it installed right here for me. Um, but yeah, here, let me do that. Um, so yeah, basically, after you install it into here, just search up Cube World. It'll launch it automatically, but... Um, when I first, when I first installed it, like, not making this video, but when I first installed it, I named my bot, I named my bottle Cube World, and then in parentheses, Cube Setup, Cube World Setup. Um, so whenever I open this, it'll just open up the Cube World Launcher, which takes a couple seconds to load up. Here we go. So it's up. I already signed in, and it remembered my account. Oh, it, it didn't. Okay. I'll be right back, um, once I sign in. Okay, so I'm back, and I just logged in with my Pigrama account, and after you log in, if this if it's your first time launching the Cube World Launcher, um, after you log in with your account, it'll say, um, it'll just load a bunch of stuff up. Do not exit out while it's loading all this stuff up, because it's actually, like, launching everything for the game to run co correctly and everything, launching all the latest patches and everything. So after that, this will glitch a little bit, but then you just click play, and it will open up in a couple of, um, depending on how fast your computer is, it'll still open up no matter what. So don't be like, oh, wow, dude, this is so stupid. I, I clicked log in, I clicked play, and it's not working. Actually, that's not true. It'll come up in a, yeah, it came, see? I'm in full screen, but, um, yeah, as you can see, it, it works and everything. Uh, mine is a little laggy right now just because I'm recording. But, um, yeah, so th these are basically, uh, so depending on how good your um, Mac is, um, if you try to download, like, a different Cube World, like a hacked, cracked one that you didn't buy from the Cube World website, it'll be really laggy. Even if you change the render distance down to, like, 5, it'll still be laggy. But basically, 25 is pretty good for, um, for Cube World, since you actually bought the game off the actual website. But my FPS limit is at 200. And, um, these are just pretty much good settings. So, uh, the good thing, so goal and full screen, full screen makes it faster, and do 1280 by 720 and analyzing disabled do not keep that enabled and then turn down or it doesn't matter if the music and sound but um yeah i'm just gonna exit the game and yeah so if the crossover is in your dock you can just right click on it and click on q world and then click on the bottle that you installed um 
do not click on the cube world cube setup .exe. just click on cube world um, setup or whatever you named your main bottle and then click on it and it'll open up the launcher from there so you don't have to go into finder and then type it in and everything uh, but it'll still come up if you type it in just this Mac and then as you can see it popped up and then it popped up in its own folder sorry it pops up in its own folder too something just fell off my desk um, so yeah uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.